let us look at one more question on differentiation. Uh, okay, now the question is differentiate y is equal to 2 cos x 5x. So this is again a composite function. Uh, so we need, need to use the chain rule. So I'm going to let this as u. So we'll say let u is equal to 5x, which implies du by dx are differentiating with respect to x is pi. Okay, so that is one part. Okay, now we have to come back, come back to the question. So now this, uh, which was y as a function of x will change to y as a function of u. So this becomes y is equal to 2 cosec of u. Now cosec of x differentiates to minus cosec x cot x. So this is the formula sheet. I've taken this from the formula sheet. You can prove this, but uh, that's not what we want to do. So y prime or dy by dx and y prime are the same thing is equal to using this formula is minus 2 cosec cosec u cot u. Okay, so let me uh, save this. So let me draw a rectangle too. Okay, so this is this is what I have saved. Now I'm going to use the chain rule. Now what does chain rule say? Chain rule is nothing but we want to differentiate this with respect to x. So we want to find dy by dx. That's the question. So well, I can say dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. If you have watched my other videos, you can understand. When you have dy by du or du by dx, these are nothing but fractions. Or these are the new. This is the numerator and this is the denominator. When you say dy, it is infinite, infinitesimally, or uh, a very, very, very small change in y to a infinitesimally small change in u. So this du in the denominator and du in the numerator gets cancelled. So the left hand side is equal to right hand side. So now what is dy by du? Oh, I should have written here dy. Sorry, so dy by differentiating with respect to u. So I should write here dy by du. Okay, so let me bring my back my blue. So dy by du is minus 2 cosec u times cot u times du by dx which is 5 times 5. So therefore I can say dy by dx is minus 10 cosec instead of u I can write now 5x times cot 5x so this is your answer okay this is nothing but your answer but I always like to check whether the answer that I've got is right or wrong and that you can do if you have your graphic calculator and you can do I'll show you in two different ways to check this so I'm saying, let me find the derived function or dy by dx when x is equal to pi by 4. Now the reason I'm taking pi by 4 is uh, at 0 and, uh, so let me show you that. What do I mean by that? How did I think about it? I already worked the answers out, so I know at some values it is not defined, so I'm not going into much de detail. 2 cosec 5x is nothing but 2 divided by sine 5x. I'll write 2 divided by sine 5x. And this is in the table menu. Now before uh, starting, you go to setup. And first thing, the derivative function has to be on. And it should be in gradients. In the radians, not gradients, the radians. Because trigonometry or calculus uh, when you are differentiating is always in it should be in radians okay and then I'll go set from 0 to say 360 or doesn't matter you can go 0 to 180 
at or oh, not 180 sorry it's we are talking radial so it is shift pi pi is 180 and i want to go in a step of pi by 4 that is 45 degrees okay so let me go to the table so this is a neat number this is pi by at pi by 4 i'm the calculator tells me the derived function is 14.14 into dp so i want to check that Okay, if my derivation is right, I should get the right answer. So this is nothing but minus 10 times 1 over, cosec is 1 over sine phi times pi by 4. Oh, I didn't write, so we want to find dy by dx at x is equal to pi by 4. Okay, times, thought is a reciprocal of tan, 1 over 10 five times pi by 4 so this is nothing but 5 pi by 4 this is minus 10 divided by I'm doing it divided by times 1 over this is same as divided by sine of 1.25 pi and that again I can divide by uh, 10 1.25 pi 1.25 pi, pi okay to play safe i'm doing in two steps so times you multiplying by one over sine is same as dividing by sine 1.25 so you can go to your run menu go to your run menu minus 10 divided by sine 1.25 pi close the bracket which is 14.14 and again divide by uh, 10 1.25 pi and the answer is confirmed so uh, the calculator and our answer matches so you should be proud of yourself and you can give yourself say uh, smiley faces okay so two smiley faces In the next video i'm going to show you uh, differentiation of this uh, I want you to do this yourself and after that this is this question is a merit question I want you to read this question where you have to find uh, the tangent and this is a very interesting question this is a implicit function you want to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve the implicit function at one negative one three I will use uh, two different uh, on a calc you can't graph this on a calculator but i'll use a different program to show how the graph looks like see you in the next video